Well, on Memorial Day weekend, we see a lot of American flags displayed on front lawns, cars, and outside restaurants. But is there a proper way to display our nation's flag? Kayla Solomon spoke with Macon's Veterans of Foreign Wars Post Commander Tracy Burkholder to verify. The American flag. We pledge allegiance to it in school and veterans see it as a symbol of their service. Um, a lot of people don't understand that veterans take it very seriously about the way the flag is flown. Veterans of Foreign Wars Post Commander Tracy Burkholder is also an Army veteran, and he says he knows a thing or two about proper flag etiquette, so we asked him if there is a right way to fly and display the flag. Uh, it's very simple. If you go to U.S. Code 4, Chapter 1, it has all the information about uh, flying the flag, displaying the flag, the proper etiquette for how to how to respond when the flag is around or when you walk past one. So we verified there is a right way to fly. The flag is never to touch the ground. Uh, when you put it up, it goes all the way to the top of the staff. If for some reason on one of the occasions like Memorial Day and some of the others where you're going to fly it at half staff, you fly the flag all the way to the top of the pole and then bring it down slowly to half staff. And display the American flag. Um, as long as there's no other flags around it, if there are, that the U.S. flag is always at the top. It always has priority. Whether it's outside of the White House or inside of an auditorium. There's no specific unless it's indoors. If it's indoors, the speaker that's standing on stage, the flag's got to be at his right or the audience's left. And if your flag is worn down, you could get a new one unexpectedly. Don't be surprised if a veteran brings a flag to you to replace the one that you have up there if it's tattered and torn. He also says if the flag is going to be left outside overnight, it's supposed to be lit up. In Macon, Kayla Solomon, 13 WMAZ News. Burkholder says the VFW in Macon also collects tattered flags so they can be retired properly. Now, if you have any questions you'd like us to verify, you can send us an email to news at 13WMAZ.com or message us on Facebook.